All right, boys and girls, ladies and gents, and whatever else there is, um, yeah. This is EchoCraft, of course, um, and we're going to talk about the Big Sky. I know the Big Sky MX came out, or MK, or whatever it's called. I don't know, I'm bad with names. Uh, love Strymon products. I've had my Big Sky for a long time. I'm going to do a demo of the old Big Sky right here um, because it's cool, and I'm going to have have the uh, the Behringer cat running through it. I even might throw some wasp on there. We'll see what happens. But yeah, without further ado, uh, here we go.
was pretty cool uh, messing with the Strymon. One of the reasons why I wanted to show it with mono and stereo, it does sound good in mono, but when I switched it and connected the stereo connectors, um, you could actually hear a huge difference. Um, totally suggestion, and I should have said this at the beginning of the video, is definitely use headphones when you're listening to this. It, it sounds awesome. Um, and this is the older one. Um, it was the first one. The Big Sky, really like it. I use it pretty much a lot um, on a lot of different synths that I have. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's awesome. Uh, I want to check out the uh, Strymon MX, uh, Big Sky MX. That's the new one. has a bigger display on it and a bunch of other different controls. And I'm sure it has a bunch of other cool features. So yeah, you know, like and subscribe. Stay tuned because uh, there's going to be more where that comes from. Um, I think I'm going to check this one out next. This is the, um, and I did a video on this a while back, but this is the um, the Collider Reverb uh, by Source Audio. I don't know if you can see that. Pretty cool. Um, this is a great reverb unit and delay. It does a bunch of different things. Yeah, that was good. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> I always screw things up. But yeah, so anyway, um, please like and subscribe and check it out. And um, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.